This is Mike Naley's music mix. Something a bit different right now. This is instrumental dance music created by a Hertfordshire woman who until lockdown had never composed any music before. She says it's like giving birth to a baby without realising you were pregnant. Helen Meissner from Stevenage is the founder of independent record label Folkstock Records. For 10 years, she created opportunities for aspiring acoustic musicians, releasing albums and promoting folk artists such as Kelly Oliver, Zoe Wren, Kate Dimbleby and Mike Silver. Helen is now in her 50s and using the name Midlife Mix has just released a six track EP of dance music, all created on a computer, without playing any musical instruments. She just experimented with electronic sounds, like a painter would approach an abstract art project. Well Helen got the hang of it straight away as she's just won an International Music Award for Best Dance EP. Helen Meisner or Midlife Mix. Welcome, how are you? Very well, thank you. How did this all start? Because you couldn't get further from Folkstock Records in doing what you're doing now. I know, and no one is more surprised than I. I can't explain it, other than by about February, March, I'd burnt out in terms of promoting and running the label and I needed a break. I do feel partly responsible for the whole situation because I thought, if only I could actually have some time off. <laughs> and then, oh, be careful what you wish for. For months, I wasn't doing anything to do with music. You know, I was obviously adjusting to the situation we were in and I was doing other work as well because I don't just run a record label, I do other promotional activities too. And then about June time, I said to my husband, Joe Rose, who you've kindly supported on your show, I said, well, why don't we try and write some songs together because he's really good at covers, old classic songs. In fact, his album is coming out on the 12th of November and I wanted to have some originals for him to sing as well. He said, all right, up for a laugh, <laughs> happy to try anything. I got went down to the keyboard and started having a go and it was hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. So I said, oh, you've got Garage Band on your iPad. I've heard about that, but I have no idea what it is. So he said, oh, this is how you turn it on. I've had a play on it. And that just literally transformed my life. The only time you'd played instruments was as a young girl growing up. You got to grade seven, piano and violin. But since then, nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> I couldn't do grade eight because I just actually can't sight read. It was hopeless. The garage band thing showed me that you can create music without actually playing an instrument or singing. <laughs> this is quite a revelation. My voice isn't that good. And I needed something that I could drag and drop or I could get some inspiration from a computer package. And I couldn't believe it. You could press a note on this virtual keyboard and it will give you a sequence of notes in a chord progression. I think, oh, I like that. Oh, I'll use that then. So it's just incredibly straightforward. I then made a massive leap in my development, uh, my song structure, because I actually couldn't make the songs. I, I tried really hard the songs for Joe Rose to sing, and I started playing around with the what's called Apple Loops. It was classic. What does this button do? And <laughs> I transfixed. That was beginning of July. And then within a couple of weeks, I'd created the track that I released as my single, and my, my life really has been changed forever. It's BBC Three Counties Radio, and that's the first ever composition by my guest, Midlife Mix. It's called Liberation. And so you can create the sound of a piano or keyboards, you can create the sound of an orchestra and violins and cellos, and bring in human voices too, all through this computer programme. Absolutely, and 
I realise you have to have a structure, even if something's instrumental or it just rambles on and doesn't make any sense. So I kept to a straightforward song structure, which I found, as advised by my daughter Lauren, who is a music producer, that it's good to have a structure on the lines of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, middle eight, chorus, chorus. So that was roughly eight bars per section. And then I developed it a bit in terms of what suited the song but you know it was incredible it was so straightforward and I just drag these loops in and it's like making a cake you think oh that will will that go there it's brilliant fun I have to say I really recommend it how long has it taken you then to say create a full track you can be very fiddly so when I mentioned apple loops before what that means is someone else has recorded a section of music on their instrument and it's gone through apple and it's copyright free so you can use it on anything you create but it might be that some of the notes of this loop, this section, this sample, suit your song, and five of them don't, but you can actually cut up and cut and paste and get rid of the ones you don't want and move them around. So you can be very creative, but I tend to work quite fast when I'm inspired. I found there's absolutely no point in starting if I'm not. And I went down to the area I create in the garden, undercover, I hasten to add, and that was on, I think, Monday and I said to John, I'm going to create a new piece rather than work on my old ones. And by the following lunchtime, I had something that I thought, yes, this is going to work. So it takes hours and hours, but it's so absorbing, which is so helpful right now, isn't it? I might do some tutorials on this, actually, because I think for people of all ages who can't actually play an instrument and have never previously been musical, to be creative in a socially distanced way is very important now. big fan of electronic music and dance music which has been around for some time now <laughs> I think I'd forgotten actually my first single that I ever bought was Gary Newman's Cars I remember a boyfriend sending me a tape with Yellow Magic Orchestra from Japan on it and I was mind blown and Jean-Michel Jarre was one of my favourites with Equinox and there was Mike Oldfield's Tubla Bells too so actually and of course I'm a child of the 80s musically and I just feel that all this influence is coming through Yazoo the Human League New Order it's, uh, it's great fun <laughs> Absolutely, and you entered a competition and you won an International Music Award just within weeks of creating your first ever piece of music. I think this is a classic, if you don't enter, you're never going to win. <laughs> the team behind Clausine, Contemporary Music Magazine, they call it, they've all charted in billboards themselves. And it's, it's for alternative music, experimental, electronic, for independent artists. So I thought, what have I got to lose? They say that people, the judges, listen blind. So that's good, because no one would have heard of me. So I thought that might actually help. Well, you know, in theory, it might help. And certainly, I was astonished to win Best Dance EP. I was so excited. It really has made the year make much more sense for me personally. Where's this going to lead you as Midlife Mix then, Helen, in the future? Is it going to help you make some money as more and more people around the world get to hear about your music and download it? Well, that's always the dream. But the reality is, having worked in promotion for independent artists the last 10 years, you have to love what you're doing and you have to do it for its own sake. Otherwise, you're going to be very disappointed most of the time. A couple of people have downloaded my EP and 
been very kind about my music and played it on their radio shows. Ultimately, I plan to release another EP probably early next year. I've got some more tracks that I've been developing. And who knows, I'd love it to be synced to a, a film or an advert. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing? Because it's instrumental, it's got more chance of being synced with a synchronisation deal because there's no words to worry about. So who knows? Well, we've been speaking to Helen Meisner from Hertfordshire, who's now releasing music, instrumental music and dance music, under her new name, Midlife Mix, and you can follow her on her website, midlifemix.co.uk, and Helen's on Facebook and Twitter, at Midlife Mix. Fantastic project, fantastic hearing from you, and I wish you well in the future, Helen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. It's a bit like tubular bells, but isn't that great? Hello, Meisner, my guest. Uh, that is Midlife Mix. As I say, her website is midlifemix.co.uk. Find her on uh, all the download platforms and on Twitter and Facebook at Midlife Mix. This is a piece called Lone Star. Before that, you heard a bit of Continental Drift, Liberation and Joyride. They're all different tempos and very relaxing, that third one. But thank you so much for your messages and input to the show today.